What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today we're diving into something seriously next level. It's called LoveArt AI. It's the world's first all-in-one design agent. LoveArt isn't just image generation or design assistance. We're talking full stack creative direction. Now I was invited to test the LoveArt beta out early and boy did it impress. One prompt gets you infinite output possibilities. Images, videos, graphics, 3D, all in one. Now whether you're a solo designer, an agency, or a product team, LoveArt replaces the whole creative pipeline. Now we're going to check things out today. Of course, the link is going to be in the description as always here. All right, so head on over to loveart.ai. No install is here. Everything is going to be browser based. And once you're on the main interface, you can come on over to the top right and click on sign up. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit to check out the explore section here. And this is going to give you a nice little sneak peek of what you can get yourself up to with love art here. So right away, this cocktail illustration is really catching my eye. Now, whenever you go ahead and click on the replay link that's associated with the creation, you're gonna get all the different prompts in the back and forth with love art of that specific creation here. But as we can see here, we have the creator's initial prompt here. So we can go ahead and see the exact prompt that went into this creation here. And we can also see the back and forth that went with love art behind the scenes here to really flesh out the style, the model, the look. So this gives you the entire begin to end of that process. Let's go ahead and come back to the homepage here. All right, so if this is your first time, just come on over to the top right, click on sign up, and let's sign in with our Google account. And just like that, we're on the main interface here. Now it is a super clean interface here. It is as easy as prompting what you wanna go for in the prompt box, hitting go, and checking out your creation here. Now LoveArt gives you three ways to create here. Now you've got talk, just speak naturally to assign creative tasks. And then you have tab, which lets you click any part of the canvas, more on that later, to tell LoveArt what to change. And then we have tune, which lets you get into those deep edits. So we're talking layers, text, layout, all within the canvas. All right, so let's jump into our first creation here. We're gonna start with a brand identity pack for a fictional candle line, and we're gonna call this Vibe Candles. So let's go ahead and plug in a prompt that I have in mind here. So I want a high-end apothecary style candle brand, earth tones, handwritten script, linen textures, wild nature meets luxury. Let's go ahead and fire this off. All right, so here we go. As we can see, LoveArt is immediately thinking about what to do here, and it is breaking down our request in real time, and it is letting us know that it needs a few more details here. So first things first, it wants to know the name of our candle brand. It wants to know, are there any specific natural elements or symbols you like to incorporate, like specific plants, flowers, or other motifs? And do you have any existing visual references that capture the aesthetic you're looking for. For two, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. And for three, I'm gonna say, let's go with a Pacific Northwest kind of theme. Let's go ahead and enter. All right, LoveArt is asking us if we'd like to see inspiration images first, or if it should just jump right into the design. I'm gonna say, let's see some of the images first. So right away, you're gonna see how interactive this is. This really flushes out the kind of look you're going for here, especially if you don't have a lot of information from the get-go. All right, so we've got some different inspiration style here to go through, and we've got kind of a handwritten look as well. And it wants to know which of these inspirations do I prefer? Let's come back to our selections here. Let's go ahead and click on this one right here. And the image actually just popped up right in my chat box here. I'm gonna say this one. Love Art has let us know that it's developed four distinct design directions for vibe candles based on a Pacific Northwest theme and inspiration image. All right, and we've got four really cool, really unique suggestions here. Now this first one's really standing out to me, so let's go ahead and click one. All right, we've got some logo concepts here to go through here. All right, so if you come on over to the top left, you can switch over to the hand tool here. Let's go ahead and do that. And this just lets us easily cycle through all of our different creations here. Now, these all look really good in my opinion. We're gonna go with this third one right here. Let's go ahead and click it in the chat box here. All right, now LoveArt is letting us know that it would like to create some derived brand elements based on this logo. So which of these would we like to go for here? So we've got product labels for candle jars. We've got packaging design, brand stationery. So we got business cards. We got 
social media templates. Let's go with all of the above here. All right, let's take a look here. So we've got a very nice product label design here. I love the lid here with the earthy tones. Let's keep going down here. We've got a concept for packaging design. So again, love this as well. Let's keep going down here. All right, next we have brand stationery here. So we've got business cards, we have tags. Love the look of these, very clean, very minimalistic. All right, we've even got social media templates here. So this could even pass off as a sticker. We've got a phone protector or a phone case. And for the last one here, we've got a product showcase. This is looking really, really clean. Definitely matches the Pacific Northwest look here. All right, Love Art has followed up here, letting us know that it has completed the visual identity system for Vive Candles. And it is wondering if we'd like to develop any additional brand applications here. So we have a couple of choices here. We can do a website mock-up, environmental applications, additional marketing materials. And you know what? I would love to see a website mock-up here. Let's take a look at that. All right, we have a website mock-up to check out here. Let's have a look. This is looking fantastic. And again, this all just came from one simple idea and we got an entire catalog of creative designs to look at, to consider, to really flesh out with Love Art. All right, let's go ahead and collapse the chat here at the top right. All right, now once you are done prompting and going back and forth with Love Art, you're gonna see that all of the creations are gonna be on the Canva here. So we have everything here. And if we come to the top here, we can go ahead and click on the select tool. Let's go ahead and click that with V. So we can go ahead and select all the different assets here by clicking on them. So for example, let's go ahead and move this over to the center here. We're gonna go ahead like this, move this over. And we're gonna go ahead and make this much bigger just so we can see it in a bigger format here. Now with my product display here, I can go ahead and upscale this. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go with a 3X enhanced upscale here. Let's go ahead and click this right here. And right away, we are enhancing this particular asset in real time. We can see at the bottom, we have our original. It is doing its magic here. So we're gonna see what that looks like in a second here. All right, let's have a look here. So this has been enhanced and it is looking extremely high resolution. It's looking really fresh. So this looks great here. I'm gonna come back to my select tool here and we're gonna come back and just minimize this a little bit here. We're gonna put this right here. And we're gonna come back to our hand tool and we're going to check some more things out here. So now if we come back to the top left here and come back to our select tool, let's go ahead and do that. And let's just click on a random asset here. When we do that, we get a whole slew of options at the top here that we can actually use. So of course we just use the upscaler we can do out paint where we can actually expand our image and it's gonna use AI to intelligently fill in those gaps there on these sides. We can remove the background. With remover, we can remove a specific item from the picture here. We got in paint here, which does the opposite of remover and we can actually add specific objects. All right, so let's scroll out a little bit to get a full view of our Canva. And we're gonna go ahead and come back to the select tool. Click V, we're gonna move this over here. We're gonna move this guy over. We're gonna go ahead and click on this guy right here. Let's go ahead and out paint this guy right here. We're gonna go ahead and out paint. So we're gonna make this bigger, something like that. We're gonna go like this. Let's go ahead and do that. It's asking, what do we wanna recreate? And we're gonna go with hints of pine around the candle. Let's go ahead and out paint. All right, let's take a look. As we can see, we've got a little bit of pine poking out on the sides here, so that looks great. Now with the same candle selected, let's come over to the top here and click on impaint and impaint an object at the top of this candle here. We're gonna say add a simple white flower on the top of the candle jar lid here. We're gonna keep everything on default in terms of creativity and image reference. Of course, if we had an image in mind, we could certainly upload that just to give it more direction, but we're gonna go ahead and fire this off as is. All right, so we've got our simple white flower on the top of our candle jar here. So this did a fantastic job. This was exactly what I was going for here. And this really just goes to show the level of creative control that's actually within the editor, within the Canva here. You can do so much within this editor once you have all your creations in here. Now, if I come on over to the top right, I can click on layers. Now, if you've ever used Photoshop before, this feature here is gonna feel really familiar here. Now we have all of our different assets here, all of our creations that are in layers here. And for example, I could either lock my asset and if I click on this eyeball here, it's actually gonna go ahead and hide the asset in the bottom left here. So let's go ahead and collapse this for now. All right, now let's jump back into my AI designer here. 
All right, now we are gonna take this creation to the next level here. All right, so here is my follow-up prompt here. So I would like to design a full e-com homepage for Vibe Candles, include a hero section, product gallery, about section, customer testimonials, and a CTA footer here. Let's go ahead and fire this off. All right, here we go. We've got our design concept for our e-com store here. And right away, this is looking extremely, extremely aesthetic. This is giving me some really good ideas here. I love the design choice here with the header image. We have the forest in the background here, and we have our candles here sitting on this log here. Then we have our product gallery. We have a brand story as well, and we have a contact us footer as well. All right, so there we go. We have all these different designs design elements and this all came from a simple idea. Now what I love the most here is that Love Art really goes back and forth with you to really flesh out the look you're going for, for the vibe you're going for. Even if you're not totally sure what you want to go for here, it gives you a lot of good ideas and so you can really flesh that out. Let's come back over to the home page here. At any point you could scroll down to see your recent projects here. As we can see in our recent projects, we've got vibe candles. All right, so just some final thoughts here. Now when it comes to Love Art, it's all about full creative control. Now the Love Art beta is live and over 100,000 creators are already on the wait list. It's fast, it's powerful, and honestly, it's just fun to use. Whether you're building a brand or running a one-person creative studio, this thing delivers. So be sure to explore loveart.ai and start vibe designing today. So head on over to the link in the description and good luck with your creations.